hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Shantina if you're new here thank you so much for subscribing to my channel if you haven't already so today yeah I'm gonna do a chit chat get ready with me because I have some things on my mind that I think may be able to help some other YouTubers out there or other content creators out there who feel like, you know, what am I doing in this space? How is this space benefiting me, right? Because I have some questions of my own. Everything you need, waves, girls, and kings, simply divide. So I have everything I'm going to be using here. I am not going to use any foundation. I am, this is going to be a foundation list. Okay. Foundation list makeup routine. I have my SPF on already. And I do use 50 and above SPF and I have a moisturizer on my face already. So I am going to go ahead and just get started. This is definitely going to be a quick makeup look. It's not going to be a no makeup makeup look, but it's going to be a very light makeup look today. All right. So let's just go ahead on. I've already shaped my eyebrows. I did get my eyebrows, um, bladed and shaded probably about three years ago and they still look good all right so i'm going to start off first by priming my face and i'm going to be using the fenty beauty the fenty beauty pro filter instant retouch primer um, i do like this i've been using this primer for about two years now well maybe about three years I'm only going to be applying that to the center of my face because that's where most of the makeup is going to go. So I'm going to make sure I press that in. Now I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. And this is in the uh, color Toast. You can get this LA Girl, I'm telling you, everywhere. I think I got this at um, a, my local beauty supply store. So the, I do just have like little blemishes, all a little bit of blemishes on my face. And so this is like my color. So I do like to use that on just little places where my face is discolored. So I start out like that. And then with my beauty blender, I like to go ahead and um, use this Milani Make It Last Matte Finish um, setting, setting Spray. It says it is 16 hour wear and it is the matte formula. So I like to... <laughs> so, <laughs> so I like to put it on my beauty blender like this. Make sure your beauty blender is wet also with water. And then I go in and then just start patting. Patting that all in. Let's get on to the subject at hand. All right. So I did get a couple of questions. I, I Not a couple. I get a few questions throughout my videos on my YouTube channel asking me, do I feel like my methods are working because people do not see my hair growing? And that is a good question because if you're following me and you don't see my hair growing, um, that is a valid question. Um, and I'm gonna say my methods of growing hair definitely work, okay? Um, I am scissor happy. I find myself cutting my hair a lot because I want my hair to eventually be even. I don't want layers in my hair. And right now I have layers. And when I take out this net, you're going to see what my hair looks like. 
and it's very uneven and very choppy so I've been chopping at my hair probably I don't say anything too much when I do it but I probably cut at my hair probably maybe twice a month but I'm pretty much dusting my hair I don't cut a lot off but you won't see hair growth if you are constantly cutting your hair so yeah you're right you do not see growth in my hair because I am constantly constantly cutting it because I want eventually for my hair to all be even but that does not mean that my methods are not working right my methods are definitely working Ooh, that already looks good look at that next thing I am going to highlight my face just a little bit and I am going to be using the um, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer and this is in the shade 420 so it's a little tad bit lighter than um, my actual skin tone well not just a tad bit it's a lot lighter but I just do that in the center of my um, face and then a little bit center of my eye right there and then I go back in with that beauty blender spray it with my matte spray and then I just go ahead and start highlighting my face the next topic is why your somebody asked me why are your view count so low and you have 25 plus thousand plus subscribers and girl I don't even know but I'm gonna take a guess at it I think the reason why first let me say that on average YouTube 10 YouTube says that you are doing a good job on YouTube on YouTube if you are getting like 10 to 15 percent um, click view count based off of your subscribers so I have 25,000 plus subscribers so I should be getting um, 2,500 views every video that I put out and I'm not doing that I'm doing more like two or three percent and that's not good and I think the reason why is because a couple of years ago I did a video well, I did a few videos on collagen peptide and that video at that time I think I probably had 10,000 subscribers and when I did that video my subscriber count went up like double like 18,000 and it's just been like climbing ever since and you would think that's good right well that is good however the people that subscribe to me during on from that video are um, people who are not necessarily interested in hair care, right? Or even beauty for that matter. They're more interested in collagen peptides and how it benefits your joints, how it benefits your um, your health, pretty much. Not necessarily your hair, skin, and nails. I take collagen peptides for my hair, skin, and nails. That was the only reason why I even started looking up what the benefits of collagen peptides is. But after doing that video, look, I got over 400,000 views on that video. And every video that I do with collagen peptides, especially from last year and before, it's like over a hundred thousand views so they like to call those videos evergreen videos so that means that those videos are in constant rotation but I'm not and my view count I mean my subscriber count is going up but it's going up based off of that evergreen content that I did so not necessarily for hair care right so evergreen content is really good but it can also hurt the growth of your channel or not necessarily the growth of your channel it can hurt like the type of people 
it can hurt the it can hurt the type of people that subscribe to your channel. So now that I'm putting out more and more um, hair content, I'm just not getting the views. I'll get like 400 views, 500 views, and I'm like, it is frustrating. But I'm grateful also because my evergreen um, video brings me money every single month. So we, I'm I love my evergreen um, content. Um, but it's not necessarily my niche. I'm looking to influence people who are into hair care, skin care, nails, you know, things like that. So that's why I am here today doing a get ready um, with me because I wanted to talk about this just a little bit, just so you guys can just know a little bit about what it is that I want to do on my channel. I'm going ahead. This is the Fenty Beauty uh, match fix in the espresso. I am going to line my nose, carve out my nose just a little bit with this, and then put a couple of little dots at the top just to highlight that. And then I'm going to go into the hollows of my cheekbones. Pretty much all that I'm going to use there. So that's where you guys come in at. You know, I really, really, really want to do what you guys want me to do. I want to, I want to do more hair videos, more, um, maybe makeup videos. I've, the reason why I'm even doing this makeup video, because someone from my collagen peptide video said that I should do a makeup video because she's interested in seeing that. So I said, okay, it took me a while to do it because I wanted to make sure my skin and everything was, um, on point. And during the whole, you know, pandemic, I hadn't been really going out anywhere. So there was really no need to do that. Um, but now that I'm back going to work, I'm like, okay, I'll do a makeup look. And this is the makeup look that I do when I am going to work. Very simple. All right, so now the next topic. So I'm really been thinking about some content that I can do that's pretty much going to get me out of my comfort zone. Um, I have a bunch of like story time videos that can probably help a couple of people. I have some. I'm very, really, really good with um, organizing things. So maybe I can introduce maybe some organizing content because I am like an organizing freak. Okay. When it comes to stuff like that. So maybe I could do something like that, but you know, you guys give me some ideas. What do you guys want to see on my channel? I have, like I said, I have people here who are very interested in collagen peptides. And then I have people who are very interested in hair content. I just don't know what you guys want to see and I don't want to get discouraged to the point where I don't do anything because I do love doing content I just want to do the content that is going to bring views to my channel and ultimately um, bring my subscriber count up I'm going to put some eyeliner on my eyes I'm going to be using this Maybelline um, eye studio I don't know what you call this. It's like a pomade, I guess, and this little applicator here. I need a little, I'm a, I need to be quiet to do this, so give me one moment. All right, that's one eye. And I got some lashes here, but ain't nobody got time to do no lashes. I'm, I am not even like savvy with putting lashes on. I used to wear lashes, but it made me bald in my eyelashes and I didn't like that. And it took a minute. It took a minute for me to look like myself after I, you know, wore fake eyelashes. All right, so I got my liner on my eyes. Now I am about to put some eyeliner on under my eye. And this is the LA Girl, again, Ultimate 
intense stay auto liner eyeliner and it is in the color um ultimate black so yeah i'm just really trying to you know get my niche I, i'm trying to i don't know if i want to be a you know a content creator that creates multiple different types of content i'm not into i tried to do the vlog thing in the past but i'm very private so therefore my blogs will be very boring so you know vlogging is pretty it's not necessarily my thing all right so i'm going to go ahead and do some do this bronzer i'm just going to put it over just a little bit over what i've already done so this is the fancy beauty coco naughty um sun stalker i love this color i have look i have really been using this definitely touch pan on that so i'm just gonna like kind of help out my little snatch nose just a little bit just a little bit and i don't do a whole lot of eye looks i just basic bronzer in my in the crease of my eye that's it okay i don't get too unless i'm going out and i might put something like in the like in the corners of my eye, a little shine or sparkle in the corner of my eye. But for the most part, this is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna go in and add a little highlight on the brow of my eye. Put that there. And I like doing makeup too, but I just don't do a lot of different looks, right? So. That's not necessarily my niche. I need to practice on makeup much more before I come on here and try to tell you guys, give you guys, serve you guys looks and things like that. And then I do like a little dot on the tip of my nose there, like that. That is pretty much the look. And then I um, put on some mascara. All right, so I have got my makeup on. This is pretty much all I do, you guys. Really, this is all that I do. Now I'm going to go in with Laura Mercier, Lori Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Medium Deep. This is a press setting powder. This looks really good. So tell me guys, what you all want to see on my, on my channel? You know, do you like content like this? If you like content like this, give me a thumbs up and I'll do more content like chit chat, get ready with me, or I can do, um, story times and like a mukbang type of, do they still do mukbangs? You know, I like to cook, so maybe I can do like a mukbang with my own cooking because I do have some story times. I got serious story times for y'all, okay? I want to leave you guys with some encouraging words, right? At the end of all my videos, I always say, wait, hold on. Let me go ahead and take this net off of my hair. My, my makeup is finished. I'm taking this net off of my hair now. I did a roller set, a, a pearl rod set on my hair. And um, if you hadn't checked that video out, you want to go check that video out so you can see how I got this look. Love, love, love. It's so cute. So anyway, like I said, you guys know how I like to leave you guys with some encouraging words. You know, I always say stay focused and keep moving forward in a positive direction, forsaking all negativity that tries to invade your space. Listen, that is very difficult to do. You have to every day give yourself words of affirmation, positive words of affirmation, positive words of encouragement, like to yourself, you know, when things is just getting rough and you just don't know what to do. First and foremost, you always want to pray. Okay. Like, you will get answers that you want if you pray and listen, pray, meditate, and listen to the word of God. I'm telling you, he will tell you in the ways that he wants you to go. Um, 
But while you're doing that, you also want to give yourself positive words and affirmation. You want to give yourself positive words of encouragement. Anytime you're thinking about something negative, you want to like combat that with something positive. You know, when your friends are reaching out to you, just, you know, just needing to vent or anything like that. I always try to give my friends words of encouragement because I feel like that's talking to myself also. So that's how I stay focused and moving forward, right? Focus and moving forward in a positive direction. I always say forsaking all negativity that tries to invade your space. Like it is so important that you take care of your space. It's so important that you take care of your self-worth, your self-love. Um, Self-care is So, so important because if you're not caring for yourself, how can you care for others? You know, so with that being said, please, 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 please go in my comment section. Let me know some videos that you want to see me do. If you like this video, you like my look. I'm loving this look. Okay. At first I was a little, I was, I wasn't where I was a little worried about it because this is my very first um, perm rot set. I feel like I can do better, but for this being my first one, I think I did pretty good. All right. Like I said, thumbs up this video. If you like this look, if you like my makeup look, if you want more looks like this, or you want me to do more videos like this, like I said, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. And like I said, remember to stay focused, keep moving forward in a positive direction forsaking all negativity that tries to invade your space. Until next time, I see you guys in my next video. Bye. Everything you need, waves, curves, and kings. Simply divine is where you